Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Travis from Second Chance Canine. I wanted to talk about outdoor kennels. We talked about indoor kennels in one of our earlier videos. We'll put the link in the description down here at the bottom. Uh, what, uh, what I like for an outdoor kennel is I like a really robust, uh, like heavy duty, um, handler style kennel that can withstand the, cause I, I work with really crazy dogs. So I, I got this kennel, they, uh, the company actually went out of business, but it's still, you can get the gist of what you're looking for. You're looking for welded wire. You're looking for solid, uh, connections. You want to be able to put this dog outside and it be safe when you're not there. Uh, I, I like to put my dogs outside during the day, especially if I have to go to work or something like that. Uh, what happens is if you put your dog in a very crate uh, or a kennel all day long, you come home, the dog is crazy and psycho because it hasn't been able to move around or do anything. So for me personally, I put the dogs outside, especially when the weather's nice like it is today. And uh, I give them that opportunity to, you know, wear themselves out a little bit, have some, uh, some outside influence to keep their mind a little busy. Uh, one of the most important things for me was putting this kennel on a concrete pad. Uh, I, I've seen dogs that uh, didn't have a concrete pad in my career that got really sick from working on top of either having their kennel on top of gravel or having their kennel on top of uh, dirt. So I kind of learned my lesson from that and I went with a concrete pad when I built this kennel. Uh, as you can see, I'm currently improving the kennel and I'm trying to get an overhead cover on it so that I can keep some of that heat out during the summertime and uh, the snow and rain out during the winter. We're right here in Tennessee, so we're right on the tropical line, so we have crazy weather. Super cool stuff. These guys don't mind being in their kennels outside. Normally, if I'm gonna be gone for a while, what I'll do is I'll give them something to occupy them, like a bone or you know one of those treats that has the surprise inside that they've gotta work for. Something just to keep their minds occupied. Uh, fresh water, all of those kind of things are, are easier to do out here than they are to do in a very kennel when they're by themselves all day long for eight hours a day. So I kind of prefer just having, if, if it's at all possible, having them outside. Not outside where they can kind of uh, run amok and destroy your yard, but outside where they're in a safe spot and they can uh, be together and, and hang out. We do run a rescue, so sometimes some of the dogs we have don't get along. So, you know, having the ability to put one dog on one side of the kennel that doesn't get along with the other dog on the other side and keep them separated, but still give them that same uh, outside time is super important to us. Um, guys, it's an investment. So if you wanna have one of these high drive military style working dogs, it's, it's an investment. You have to, you have to be willing to invest. Uh, you're probably looking at spending about 800 to a thousand dollars on a concrete pad and about five to $700 on a, on a kennel system. Um, just know that when, when you do this, it's for life though. You know, for me, I bought this, I, I bought once and cried once, you know, so I, I paid for the, uh, the kennels and I paid for the concrete pad and now I'm upgrading it and building it uh, overhead shelter so that I can have water and power and uh, shade for these guys. Um, really important guys, kind of think about those things when you're looking at one of these dogs, either for a service dog or a patrol dog or even a sport dog uh, to have a place for them to go. One of the other things is I don't let just anybody meet my dogs. So if I have you know, a gathering coming up or, or like a big family meeting or, so, or a big family gathering coming up, uh, I put my dogs away. If I can't be there with them when they're, when they're uh, meeting someone, then I don't let them meet them. So having the outside kennel gives me the option to be able to put them away and uh, not have them interact with people that, aren't, that they're not gonna interact with on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, guys, if you have any questions on kennels, shoot me uh, those questions in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, do me a favor and like and subscribe to the channel so that we can grow this and we can get you guys more information on dogs and, and how things are going. Uh, we have a new Patreon uh, up and running. If you guys want to join our Patreon, feel free to join that. We'll put, the, we'll put a link in the description as well. Uh, this is Second Chance Canine and this is what we do, guys. Appreciate you guys so much and uh, have a great day.